pretty cool project that we're going to be working on today. So for any of you who uh, keep bees, you're inevitably going to have problems with pests. Um, one of the pests that you're going to have problems with is the Varroa mite. And just recently in the United States here, uh, it was made legal that you can use oxalic acid to treat Varroa mites. It's a very efficient way to treat Varroa mites, especially vaporizing it. If anybody's ever watched the Fat Bee Man's channel, he vaporizes it. He has a vaporizer. He has a machinist uh, make for him. He sells it on his website. They work great. The, the great part about oxid or oxidation or vaporization is that when it becomes a gas, the bees kind of circulate it throughout the hive and you get almost 100% coverage. Over in England, they dribble it on a sugar syrup. Well, you can't get good coverage on all your bees that way. So, fortunately, we're allowed to do that now. It was just past probably two, three weeks ago here in March. But anyways, um, oxidizer, or uh, I keep saying oxidizer, I'm so sorry. Uh, vaporizers are really expensive. They run anywhere from $70 all the way up to $200. For just a manual one, you know, you can get ones that have air circulators in them and foggers and all that. Um, it's just too expensive. So, if you've watched my other videos, I don't like spending any money unless I have to spend money. So, what I'm trying to do is to make a oxalic acid vaporizer without really spending too much money. Just like any project I have, I spend $20 or I have set a budget. This budget is $20 per oxidizer. So, I'm, excuse me, I'm building two different types. One is DC and one is AC. Fortunately for my wife and I, we have electric out near where our beehives are. So we do have the ability to plug one in just in case our batteries are dead. But ideally we'd like to use the batteries, um, especially in the future when we have far more beehives that aren't going to be you know anywhere close to the house you, know, you can't get electricity around out there so anyways what I what I came up with well I saw this this on uh, you know online where a guy used an immersion heater but what he did was here's an immersion heater it's a 12 volt immersion heater and uh, you just pretty much just put it in your coffee mug or whatever your beverage holder is and it heats it up and it heats it up really well but the problem is, or not the problem is, but what he did is he ended up taking copper pipe, bending it around a uh, cap, and re-putting it in here. Well, you don't really need to do that. What I did is I mounted this into a vice block. I took a pair of channel locks, hooked them on here, and I just twisted it at 90 degree. And it sits really nice like that. You see how that is? So what we're going to do to keep the oxalic acid inside the heating element is boom. Hopefully that zooms in here. It, my camera really likes the white background on that, uh, that beehive. But anyways, this is a three quarter inch cap for a, a copper pipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this three quarter inch cap. Now the problem with this three quarter inch cap is that it doesn't really fit inside this heating element. So what we need to do is sand this down, grind this down just a little bit, and I'm just going to slowly start to pound out the copper so it'll fit in here. I don't want to solder it. I want it all to be pressure fit. So that way I know that uh, if it does heat up enough um, or, or too high that the solder won't break eventually. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, start sanding this down and start pounding this in here. Now how I got these immersion heaters, I got one, they have them at Bed Bath & Beyond, I don't know where the other one, oh it's in my pocket. I don't know, or uh, I got the DC one, uh, or the DC powered one on Amazon. And I got this one at Bed Bath & Beyond. And if you're like my wife and I, we get Bed Bath & Beyond coupons all the time. We get those $5 off, um, your $15 purchase. So I bought two of these and I got $5 off from it because these are only $7.99 a piece. So two of them put together, just made it over the $15 bucks and kind of got one and a half 
or I only had to pay for kind of one and a half of these, you know. So anyways, this is how it looks when it comes in the mail. Like I said, you put it in the, the vice block here and then channel lock it and bend it. You have to trim this tab here because this tab is what uh, sits on the beverage cup and then you have to sand this down right here so that way it'll fit inside the beehive. All right, you'll have to excuse me for the mess back there. It happens every winter time. Get a bunch of junk, just put it on the bench here and then the garage gets messy. So what we're gonna start doing is this is that three quarter inch copper pipe cap that we're gonna go ahead and start to pound out a little bit. I don't wanna sand it first yet because uh, copper's pretty malleable so I should be able to pound it out to fit decently inside this uh, ring right here. All right, well, it uh, looks like it's finished. <clears throat> so there is the, um, there's the cup. It's still warm, I was testing it out with water. It was able to boil water within, I think it was like 30 seconds. Uh, I'll take it down here, nice pretty zip ties on the shish kebab skewers and then look at that mount you can't get it any more redneck than that mount went ahead and carved out the center wire tied it in so that way uh, this will do two things it'll mark how far I need to go into the hive it will also keep it steady and because I don't know if you can notice this but there is a slight decline in the wire this will uh, help boost it up so that way this will stay down so let's go ahead and put this in here let me fix the camera here so this fits in pretty nicely you have to you know wiggle it just a little bit um, to get it in there but it'll fit in there pretty good once you get it in there and it seems to fit pretty well so now we have the let me get over here we have this sitting in here like this and I'm gonna go and uh, plug in my battery I'm gonna take this splitter with these prongs here and hook it up to the end of here but I'm actually going to go get some oxalic acid. Um, I'm going to test the real stuff out, so we'll see how that works. So I'm going to go inside, measure out 2 grams oxalic acid, because that's what we need. We have two mediums, and then I'll uh, be right back. All right, so as you can see, the oxalic acid fits nicely in the 3 quarter inch cap. And before, when I said I have two mediums, I didn't, I didn't mean mediums. I meant deeps. So you do 1 gram per deep. Um, so this is two grams right now. I could fit three grams in there if I wanted to and that, that seems to work out really nicely. I have to adjust some of the zip ties. Some of the zip ties have moved so it'll be a little harder to get it in but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here, get my respirator and record this and see how well it does. Okay so you could probably tell that uh, I'm getting ready to do this because I got my respirator on. So uh, let's go ahead and plug this battery in and time it to see how long it takes to oxidize. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this up. I'm just using a regular tractor battery. I'll get some deep cycle battery, uh, deep cycle battery when I'm done. So plug this up, hit start, and let's see what we what we do here. Now most of the oxidizers that we that you can buy says to let it sit. It takes about a minute to warm up. So let's see how long it takes. Right now we're at 31 seconds. As you can see it's starting to melt. Wonderful. 39 seconds it's starting to oxidize I wish you could see the steam and the smoke but you can't there you go 
We are at 55 seconds. Huge plume. Wonderful. Oh, this is great. That's a lot of oxalic acid. So we're at a minute and 17. We're about halfway through the oxalic acid. Good thing I got a nice uh, respirator. Oh, this is great. I'm not sure if um, two grams is, I think two grams might be, oh. So that right there, what you're seeing from the shooting, that's because it was too, a little bit compacted. But I think two grams might be quite a bit to do, but that's it. So two minutes. So it took two minutes to do this. That's so exciting. All right, well, this will be it for the video, but uh, it just goes to show you know, a little bit of ingenuity and save you a ton of money. Um, this all, so that copper cap cost $1.74. The heater cost $9.99 with free shipping. The skewer was free. The zip ties were free. That was it. So for less than $20, I can compete with some of the top-of-the-line oxidizers. How about that? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up button when you're done. Leave some comments in the comment section and stay tuned for more videos.